Hi, and welcome to my tutorials on Euclid's Elements, Book 1. This video presentation is going to be on Proposition 47 of Book 1, which states that if we have a given right angle triangle with sides A, B, and C, where A and B are opposite the, or sorry, touching the right angle, then the sum of the squares, A squared and B squared, is going to equal the square of the third side opposite the right angle. So we have a squared plus b squared equals c squared, which you may remember is Pythagoras' theorem. Now there's many different ways of demonstrating Pythagoras' theorem, but we're going to stick with what Euclid did. So the first thing we need to demonstrate is that bh and cg are indeed straight lines. Now, CAB is a right angle. GAB is a right angle because of the way we constructed our square. So the angle GAC is a right angle plus a right angle, or two right angles. And according to Proposition 14, that makes it a straight line. Similarly, for BH. Now let's look at the angles FBC and A, B, D. You can see that F, B, A is a square, or a right angle, excuse me, plus we have the little extra bit of A, B, C. So F, B, C is equal to a right angle plus A, B, C. Right angle plus A, B, C. A, B, D is equal to a right angle plus A, B, C is equal to a right angle plus ABC. So these two angles are equal. Now before we continue further with this, I'm going to draw a line parallel to BD through the point A and label the intersection of DE as L. Alright, now let's draw a line from A to D and F to C and look at the resulting triangles. FB is equal to AB. We have gamma, gamma, and we have CB is equal to BD. So we have two triangles where we have side, angle, side equal to each other. And according to Proposition 4, that means these two triangles are equal in all respects, including the area. Now if we look at our square that we drew on the line AB, you can see that the triangle and the square share the same base and the same parallels. So according to Proposition 41, this square is equal to twice the area of our triangle. Now if we look at our rectangle, here you can see that again we share a common base and common parallels. So this rectangle is equal to twice the area of our triangle. Now these two triangles are equal, so consequently the areas of the square and the rectangle are also equal. And just for simplicity, I'm going to call this a squared, and since the area is equal, this is also equal to a squared. Carrying on, we can do the same thing for the next side. We have two triangles. The angles, in this case sigma, are equal. We have a side, angle, and side that are equal for both of these. So according to Proposition 4, they are both of equal length, equal area. Again, this square is going to equal twice the area of this triangle, and this rectangle will equal twice the area of our triangle. So we have two triangles that are equal in area, gives us that this square, and again I'm going to label it for simplicity, we will call this one b squared, will be equal in area to this rectangle, so we label that b squared as well. Now, 
BC is a straight line, so this BCED is equal to BC squared, or this is all equal to C squared. And as you can see, R squared, C squared, is equal to the sum of A squared plus B squared. So there we have that c squared equals a squared plus b squared. Pythagoras' theorem. And that concludes this video presentation. To see the next presentation, just click the next button.